This video will show how to adjust the end clearance of an EnviroGear G-Series internal gear pump. End clearance is the distance between the end of the rotor teeth and the pump head. This distance is measured in thousandths of an inch. G-Series pumps rely on proper internal clearances for efficient operation. The required end clearance dimension depends on the temperature and viscosity of the fluid being pumped, as well as the material of construction and size of the pump. End clearance can also be adjusted as the pump wears over time. End clearance is adjusted by rotating the bearing housing at the shaft end of the pump. Tables in the G-Series IOM show the end clearance dimensions needed to adjust the gap between the rotor, idler, and head. Please make sure to read your instruction manual before doing any work on your EnviroGear G-Series internal gear pump. The first column shows the pump model and materials of construction. The second column is the lettered clearance setting. The third column shows the viscosity range for each setting. Note that the same viscosity range may cover multiple settings. The fourth column shows the temperature range for each setting. Note that the same temperature range may cover multiple settings. The fifth column shows the length on the outside diameter of the bearing housing required to adjust to for each setting. The last column shows the distance on the outside diameter of the bearing housing for additional end clearance adjusting in 1,000th inch increments. Let's begin. Shown here will be the only tools you will be using for this process. Start by loosening the two bearing housing set screws in the face of the bearing housing flange enough so that they do not interfere with the bearing housing rotation during end clearance setting. By hand or with a small spanner wrench, spin the shaft to find the rotor to head zero clearance setting. The bearing housing can be turned clockwise to move the rotor into the head and counterclockwise to move it away from the head. Turn the bearing housing clockwise until the shaft becomes difficult to spin with the spanner wrench or cannot be spun by hand. Loosen the bearing housing slightly until the shaft will spin by hand with a slight drag on the head. This drag is caused by contact between the end of the rotor tooth and the head. This is the zero clearance point. Note, proper end clearance adjustment is very critical to pump performance and reliability. The zero setting should never be established by forcing the rotor into the head until the shaft will no longer spin. This will lead to high horsepower draw, rubbing during operation, and the potential for the pump to seize up. Never operate a G-Series pump with zero clearance. Make a continuous line on the bracket and bearing housing outside diameter to mark the zero clearance point. This will be the reference for zero end clearance. Make another line on the bracket by measuring the correct length from the first line on the bracket based on the size and clearance of the pump. The correct length can be found in the end clearance setting table for the appropriate size and material of pump. This second line will always be made to the left of the first line when looking from the shaft end of the pump. The pump shown is a G14 model size stainless steel pump and an A clearance setting adjustment of 1.12 inches has been made. Rotate the bearing housing counterclockwise so that the line on the bearing housing aligns with the second line on the bracket. To maintain position, tighten the bearing housing set screws with equal force against the bracket. The pump end clearance is now set and locked. Be sure the shaft can rotate freely. Thank you for watching. For more information on complete pump repair, please refer to the instruction manual. PSG, where innovation flows.